person spying on you. Oh, no? You weren't? You were just sitting on the floor underneath my desk listening to a private conversation and holding a photograph of my dead fiancé, no less, but you weren't spying on me. I could report you. Well, according to what I heard, I could report you, too. For taking some illegal, experimental drug to keep having hallucinations of your dead fiancé, or I could report Dr. Devlin for giving it to you, I'm sorry, selling it to you no, no, for $10 no, million? It's, dollars? it's my business. Are you in the business of lying? Because that's what you're doing. You're not here to set up a program to help people. You're doing high-end drug deals. I, I, I thought you of all people would understand what it means to me to keep Emily around. No, not at the expense of your life. Do you really think that Emily would want that for you? God, how do you look your little boy in the eye knowing oh, what you're okay, doing to right, him? I, I want you to leave now. How do you hold him, pretend do, to love him? I love my son. Yeah, just... Not enough to watch him grow up. You think what you're doing is so romantic, but it's not. It's selfish. And when all this is over, the only thing that's going to be left is your orphan son. I was too young and too sick to remember what happened when BJ died and I got her heart. But I do remember what happened after. Bobby and Tony were like a second family to me. But it all went to hell when their daughter died. It's like when BJ left, she took something priceless from them that they couldn't get back. So they stopped trying. And they got a divorce and everything changed. Little dude is not going to die. Come to think of it, Mac and my mom fell apart after that too. I guess losing a child or Anyone, for that matter, really changes you. I mean, look at Georgie. Yeah. The jackal has indeed changed since why is Georgie's passing, but you and me, we, we managed to help each other. Well, we tried to find Georgie's killer. You know, we wanted a revenge and justice, but it didn't bring Georgie back. It didn't bring Coop back. It didn't take the sadness away. After my sister died, I was filled with hate and anger. Nothing else really existed. And... Until I heard about Michael, I hadn't realized how wrong I had been. No matter what was going on between my mother and me, she had lost a child and it must have been killing her. But young Michael Corinthos is in... He's in the best possible hands. I, I should really report to Stonewall. I think that maybe you should just stay out of everyone's way. I know you want to help, but you can. Sometimes you just have to face the fact that there's nothing that you can do. Do you want me to take you back to Jason's house? No, I... I think there's still some place we could go that could do some good. It's taking so long, Jason. Yeah, it only feels that way. So as Michael wakes up, I have to apologize to him. I yelled at him for playing with video games and... I was angry, and you know, you can't leave someone when you're angry. No, no, no one's leaving. I know. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna wake up and he's gonna be fine. We can close up. Good job, everybody. We did all we could. We did the best we could. Don't leave here thinking otherwise. When we go out there, we go out there as doctors facing the parents of a patient. As opposed to what? Parents facing parents. If you want to arrest Trevor for the shooting tonight, I'd be happy to testify. Miss Davis, John doesn't have any facts to back that up. So please, reconsider, son. A mistake like that can tend to snowball back on you. Trevor hates Sonny. Over and over again, day and night. I can't tell you how many times I've heard him say he wants Sonny dead. So why do you think he would choose tonight to act on that? Because Trevor just became proud owner of the Alcazar waterfront properties. He figured Sonny'd come after him, so Trevor took a preemptive strike. You know what, Miss Davis? I have a solid alibi. I was having drinks with the mayor at Club 10. Check it out. I will. And what about you? Would you like to add anything? My brother's absolutely right. Trevor has been gunning to kill Sonny for months. Miss Davis, 
Arrest me, or I'm going to leave the hospital. Just don't leave poor Charles. If this is your way of trying to resolve a personal vendetta with Trevor, find another resolution. You don't compromise my investigation, is that clear? Whoever did this to Michael will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, personally and passionately by me. And I say that as the DA and as a mother. Thank you, don't. Trevor says he has an alibi, he'll have one. All I did was buy his time. In the meantime, you fix this. You've got one chance. Or I go to Sonny myself and tell him that I'm responsible for this. I'm sure Jax must be out of his mind with worrying. I bet it would help Carly if he were here. Jax is not sorry. Like me. Hey. It's Kate. I didn't mean it like that. You know... The last thing Michael said to me was that he loved me. That's going to be the first thing you say to him when he wakes up. Michael. Baby, mommy's right here. How'd it, how'd it go? We were able to extract the bullet. Michael's vitals are starting to stabilize. He's gonna live, right? Yes. Huh? He's gonna live. That's right, you're gonna be fine. Just like I said, you're gonna be fine. Okay, we really need to get him to drink. Could I have a word with you, please? I'm going on the break. Give me a minute. I'm fine. About. What happened in my office? I'm counting on your discretion. Wow, here I thought you might apologize. What Dr. Denlin and I are doing is highly confidential. Uh, I'm sorry, um, but a rich, spoiled, selfish prince who's taking his beautiful son for granted and buying some illegal mystery drug just to prolong his own death is none of my business. 